Blah. <laughs> this is the year end list of 2008. And Jay is recommending he's recommending records. And he says five. Number five is box box elders hole in my head Four the clean comp with compilation. Three is cheap time self titled. I really need to check that out. And I know that name because cheap time, I believe backed no bunny cola freaks. Don't know about him, but I got to check it out. And here he is mentioning one of my favorite records of all time. Uh, who I think obviously took their name Love Visions from Blood Visions, No Bunny. Every once in a this is what he says about this is what Jay says about No Bunny Love Visions. And um, again, it just makes a lot of sense. Blood Visions, Love Visions, and two two records that I love to death, even despite uh ugh, even despite all that no bunny represents now. This is what he says about no bunny at the time. Everyone Every once in a while, a record comes my way that I just can't stop listening to, you know, like an instant classic of sorts. Forget the bunny mask, forget the wig, forget the kind of corny gimmick. Behind all that lies some of the best lo-fi Ramonzi punk slop that I have heard in years. For sure, the best record I own to jump around in your underwear and eat pizza in bed to. And that's exactly how I felt, feel, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about nobody these days, but that's how I felt when I heard Love Visions myself. I just, it made me want to jump around in my underwear and eat pizza. You know, I love that record to death. Talk about 22 minutes of perfection. Love, Blood Visions is 27 minutes and Love Visions is 22 minutes. And and then a third band would come along and I bet I don't think Jay Jay wasn't alive when they recorded this but I think had Jay heard Dark Thoughts with their self-titled release 12 songs in 18 scorching minutes I think Jay would have you know died to have them on tour too bad that they are anti-semitic pieces of shit uh I don't like them anymore um but I don't know that also a bummer but yeah, that record is so great by Dark Dark Thoughts. Um, so that's his list from 2008. Yes, Turn to Stone. I love the Sneaky Pinks. I'm I I do. In fact, before before Nobody used to cover I Can't Wait. Now that's a band I know a bunch about. Nobody before I Can't Wait was originally a Sneaky Pink song. And they used to, they had a song called I'm Punk, which is the theme song to Pizza Punk, which is a show on this channel. Pizza is the shit. Because pizza is so punk. It's punk, totally taken from I'm Punk. And I think there's also Party Till You Puke. They put out a couple of singles, man. I love the Sneaky Pinks. And all of their songs have been collected on uh, digitally by all. Uh, Ready, set, go, or almost go records or whatever. The guys who reissued Love Visions a while back, who, who nobody had a real big beef with. He was really pissed at those guys. Did not like the the box set that they put out. Either which way, I digress. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 